to bring in Simon Michelle now for Big Securities for more global bond yields. Just interested in the, your view, I guess, off the back of that Bank of Japan meeting. What sort of movements have we seen? Look, it's interesting, actually. We've had significant downward movements in yields. Uh, obviously, we've seen the Bank of Japan uh, provide more uh, action for the market earlier this year. Uh, so I don't think most of the market was expecting any further move by the Bank of Japan. Look, it continues to put pressure on the RBA, and we've certainly yeah. seen that emerge with that lower inflation number. Uh, you know, the rest of the globe is continuing to throw money at their uh, economies, and yet the RBA is sort of holding firm. I think this could be the final nail in the coffin for an RBA cut. Well, what are we seeing in terms of market pricing and, and the yields moves on that RBA, on that RBA, I guess, increase in, in view that we will see a cut? Well, it's interesting. I mean, the two-year rate, if you have a bit of a look at that, it has been down uh, in 2016 as low as 1.75. It was up at 2.06, and it's now fallen back 20 basis points to 1.86. So market's certainly now starting to build in, but, you know, the challenge that the RBA has is that their next meeting is on Budget Day, mm. um, the Tuesday. Uh, it's likely the federal government will then uh, call a double dissolution election. That's certainly what they've uh, indicated. Uh, and so they've been in election mode. So if the RBA doesn't move in May, then they can't really move until July and it'd be sort of three days after the election. So, you know, some real uh, issues there. And, uh, you know, will that, uh, you know, force the RBA to move uh, in May or will they hold off and uh, keep quiet through the election cycle? That's the big unknown, I think, at this stage. But yep. I think the market's really building in a further cut at this point. It'll be very interesting. Thanks so much, Simon, for that update. Thank you. Simon Michelle there from Fig Security.